The recovery trial is a, a randomised controlled trial in ho patients hospitalised with COVID-19. So what that means is we randomise patients, we toss a coin to decide whether patients receive a new experimental drug or the usual standard of care. That gives us a very um, unambiguous and clear answer about whether the drug is beneficial or even harmful. These kind of trials are really the gold standard and it's the basis on which new treatments are licensed by the regulatory authorities. The trial was launched in March 2020 in the very early stages of, of the pandemic when we really had no treatments for COVID-19 and there was an urgent need for that. We had no vaccines at that time and there were a large number of very sick patients in hospital. So we, we rolled out the trial across the whole NHS and due to the fabulous work of all the NHS frontline workers and uh, um, the generosity of patients, we've been able to enrol a very large number of patients, which makes it the biggest uh, trial of COVID-19 in the world. And because of that, we've really made a big difference. We've been able to evaluate nine drugs now, um, which three of which we've found to be beneficial. Uh, the others we found to be non-beneficial, which is good. It means we can stop using them. But the three beneficial drugs have been um, dexamethasone, a steroid treatment, um, another anti-inflammatory drug called tocilizumab, and um, a, a, a monoclonal antibody, which is an artificial antibody. Um, and, and all of those have been shown to reduce mortality. And all of those are now in, 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 in use in hospitals and saving lives. So it really has been a fantastic success. The recovery trial has been so successful and really has changed practice worldwide that we're going to continue the trial. There's still answers uh, needed for new therapeutics that are coming for COVID-19. So we're going to continue running it um, for COVID-19. But we're also going to expand it to influenza because that's another uh, annual scourge which we don't really have good treatments for for hospitalised patients. So we're going to start enrolling influenza patients and because of the success within the UK, we've had a lot of international interest and we're now opening internationally. So it's now a global trial. There are patients in hospital today, both in the UK, but also globally, who are really benefiting from the results of the recovery trial. So if you're hospitalised with COVID-19 now, you're very likely to receive drugs because of the recovery trial. So I would really encourage any new patients to consider enrolling in the trial because it will really help patients in the future.